Hey everyone, Matt here from Apollo Fitness. I'm hanging out with Brian today. Brian is a great success story of ours and we'll talk about that. So Brian, you have been a client since... It's the start of the pandemic, yeah, so like so March. March. March, March. So we're going on, I mean, we're going on 11 months now in, yeah. a, in a couple weeks here. So um, before you joined us, did you know who we were before? I have heard of you guys, um, but didn't really know kind of what stuff was. Like I heard about like, the boot camp thing and all that. Right. Um, so how did you feel before you joined? Like, what was going on with you before? I wasn't really doing much in terms of like physical activity and stuff. I was probably the kind of person that like defaulted to sitting on the couch watching Netflix, that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, find an excuse and not to do activity. I think I thought the stuff that I was doing was activity. Yeah. Yeah. And you got an active wife too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, my wife's a runner, she runs all the time, yeah. does races, all that kind of stuff. Um, so how do you feel now? We're 10, oh. 10, 11 months later. Um, my energy's so much better. One of the things that I notice is that like I want to do stuff. So like, I look forward to even things like going to pick my daughter up after school. Um, like not just because I feel like I need to walk, because like I like being out and doing stuff. Like I'd like to go do things instead of just sitting on the couch. Like, yeah. That's one of the biggest things for me. Like, I want to go outside and play in the backyard kids and all that kind of stuff. Nice. And we just, I just asked you they're two and six, so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 They, they like to do stuff. They like to play. I like to go out and like, even now that the snow's out, we go out and like play in the backyard and run around and not just like sit there and watch them. Yeah. And you had told me earlier about your progression from virtual to in-person. So you've had some specific results. You want to talk about those and how your goals have changed now? Yeah. So, um, I think one of the funny things I told you before is that like, I didn't, um, like I didn't, like I don't know where I started because I never really, well, I, don't, I don't think I wanted to know where like weight and body fat and all that stuff was when I started. Um, so I didn't do my first, I was starting March and my first kind of weigh-in until September. So I know there was gains between March and September, but I don't know what they are. But since September and since kind of focusing on that piece, um, as of the last weigh-in, I'm down about 27 pounds, like 14% body fat, Crazy. That kind of piece, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, just, I'm really happy about that. Yeah, and you went from, you were saying, like, virtual recordings to the lives to now yeah. in person. Well, that's like, I, like, I think I always kind of found the excuses that wouldn't have time to come to the gym, all that kind of stuff. So when you guys started um, with the, like, the 21-day challenge thing, but you guys have just kind of flipped to virtual, and I was like, oh, okay, I can do this for, like, 21 days, see what this thing is. Started just doing the recordings, because I was too nervous to go on camera. I was like, I don't know how to do this warm up thing. I remember that, I remember doing one, it's like, I don't know how to, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. this stuff, you guys just need to know what you're talking about and yeah. understand it. So I did that and then kind of moved up to like the live ones, but not having the camera on, or having the camera on, but like standing off the right. camera. Yeah. So you might see me like go live. Lots of people do that. Yeah. Um, and then doing the live ones. And then now, now I joined up in person for like the last challenge to kind of test it out. And then you guys have to shut down again. Yeah. Um, but then now, yeah, now I've kind of committed to being in person. Awesome. Right? Like that. But like, it was really cool to have that option because I'm not sure I would have said I'm ready to come in person a year ago. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, there's, um, you know, there's not necessarily a lot of gyms in Halifax, but there's a lot of virtual fitness programs. So before you joined, like, what were the hesitations of jo joining? The big piece for me was like the commitment one. Like I remember kind of different times looking at stuff and being like, oh, but I don't, I don't know like what happens if I don't like this kind of thing. Like it was even when I was doing the virtual, when I started doing the virtual stuff with you guys and I was like, you guys were offered a promo, like, oh, you can do this for so many months. Um, I get like a piece of swag or something. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to last for six months kind of thing. Cause I never really do. Yeah. So you just being able to know that I'd be like, oh, see what this is like, test it out, not that kind of commitment. Um, a big thing for me is that you guys are a Halifax company, so instead of like one of the big kind of national yeah. things, like that was cool. Um, and I didn't realize um, until I started doing it how many people I knew that are members too. Like all of a sudden people are like, oh I saw you on the workout and that kind of stuff. So it's, it, yeah. that was cool too, so it kind of makes that, that connection yeah. around that, that piece. And the, the big part of the challenge was, was all the stuff that you guys are doing for like other small business and that kind of stuff. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm totally doing this. Yeah, cool, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, as far as people sitting on the fence, like what would you tell somebody if you wanted to give them a nudge uh, towards joining? Well, that's where, that's totally where I was a year ago. That I was like, I don't, I always kind of found the excuses. It's like, I'm not gonna have time to do this. 
I found that like being able to do it virtually, I didn't have that excuse. I was like, I can, I can test this out. I'm not committing to the rest of my life to do this. I'm just going to see what this is. I was like, you know what? I enjoyed this. Um, there was never pressure from you guys. It's not like, like I've been, when I was in university, I was at other gyms and I always kind of felt like there was somebody going to be breathing down my neck to like sign up for this or, um, get this personal training thousand dollar package thing or whatever. So it was never that, like I knew that it was just, um, uh, that you guys were just trying to help and there, and that was, that was cool. And that there was all the options. I was even thinking a couple weeks ago, um, I had a cold that couldn't come to the gym. I was like, oh, but now there's virtual stuff and I can do it and just record it. So there's like, there's, there's always those options of the things that work for me. That's yeah. awesome. Awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, you're uh, obviously a great success story, but a good example of somebody who is really taking advantage of everything that we have to offer. And, you know, some people will come in and they'll do a little bit or they'll do a lot. So that ends working out. Yeah, I've done like, uh, now I'm doing the in-person boot camps, I've done boot camps. Yeah, I did the cardio live ones. On there, I've done yoga before. I keep thinking I want to try the Pilates one. And I, like, it's cool that there's all those different yeah. options and that I can do it from my living room. Awesome. Or coming to the gym. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well, appreciate the time. All right. Thank you. Thank you.